All right, three country songs, two different artists, not written in uh, chronological order, but they all go together in this order. So 1991's Rodeo by Garth Brooks, um, written from her standpoint while he's in Tulsa, she knows that he won't ever love her or look at the same way as his passion for the rodeo. From here, this is where it gets a little out of order. So, 1996's song by George Strait, Still Makes Cheyenne. Keep in mind, he's in Tulsa. He calls, he says, hey, I didn't make the short go, I can come home. She says, don't come home, I've already found another man. He's not a rodeo guy, he's probably some banker. Um, but uh, yeah, don't worry about it. And that's when he's like, well, okay, I'm gonna miss you, but I could still make Cheyenne. All right, now we go back a year, and the third song, Garth Brooks, 1995, Beaches of Cheyenne. Um, he dies in Cheyenne. They send his belt buckle and his saddle to his dad. Why, did they, why don't they send it back to her? Why is it talking about her, but she doesn't get his belt buckle? Well, because she pushed him away. So she goes crazy, right? They say she went crazy, and she walks the beaches of Cheyenne. Now bonus round the last song that fits in this is 1989 garth brooks the dance this is where he's on his way from tulsa to, to cheyenne because remember on the phone the george Strait song he says there's things about you i'm gonna miss well the dance explains everything he's gonna miss about her on his way from tulsa to cheyenne so there you go. I know it's country music. They're all the same songs, but it's just crazy to see how sometimes you can take three or four of them and fit them together in an order that actually kind of makes sense and tells the same story.